Welcome guys back to another M Creator lore video. So today what I wanted to do was kind of make a new texture for the effect that we traveled to the dimension. So I wasn't really sure what I was going to be creating. I just kind of started playing around with some particle things that might look pretty cool. And then I'm like, okay, uh, what could we actually do? So I just actually copied one of those over to the main thing. And I'm like, okay, well, we, we kill a witch. So maybe a witch hat uh, for the actual decoration and stuff like that. So I started playing around with the shapes, just trying to get what would kind of fit roughly for the design. Uh, the actual thing, the vanilla texture for the effects is roughly about 18 by 18 pixels. So I tried to stay within those lines, but uh, I did expand it later on for um, getting the decoration and stuff uh, for because it was a little bit dark on the outline for the thing so I wanted to make sure that it would all kind of fit into and be visible because the gray is pretty dark and it's almost the same shade so I did outline it but that was later on the next thing that I wanted to do was basically get uh, the a couple things set up I wanted to make sure that the the grass, uh, the custom grass that we added was disabled for all of the plants, so we weren't spawning it. And then I wanted to basically add a feature for generating the grass instead. This will allow us to kind of control the plants of where they generate based on the biome rather than having to create a block over and over again. So with the same texture and such. So what I did was I basically just went ahead and created a uh, single block spawn. Uh, this will allow us to spawn a block somewhere in the world and then I basically use this uh, offset block with the repeater and then I can kind of get an adjustment. There, I also added a repeater below just because I wasn't sure how much I needed so uh, through testing I noticed that I'm, I needed a repeater but I don't think we actually need one uh, for the actual thing here so that's basically what I did here and then I played around with some stuff. The next thing that I wanted to do was basically go ahead and uh, adjust the biome settings for the how the biomes are going to generate. I wanted the flower biomes a little bit more inland than normal, but uh, I wasn't familiar totally with all the settings. I kind of got ahead of myself and just randomized it. Uh, that's probably my first mistake. I wasn't actually paying attention to what was being said. I recently did a tutorial on these settings. Uh, so if you guys are interested in how that was all set up, then you can find that on my channel already. But uh, basically I wanted uh, the continentalness uh, to be a little bit shifted inwards. Uh, so a higher number than zero. I played around with the value a little bit for both biomes. And I tried to make the temperature and the, the humidity the same, so it would kind of spawn in the, roughly around the same area. And the erosion, I did overlap this a little bit. I'm not sure uh, where it will actually generate in because I'm not sure if it will like have any conflict with each other. But um, it should hopefully have um, like a rough... Uh, generation where it will kind of overlap and mix in a little bit so we'll see how that actually turns out but uh, this was just kind of like the phase one for testing and stuff like that I've played around with the settings later on to kind of get a better idea of how all the uh, settings and stuff worked but we did get it there eventually and lastly one of the things that I wanted to do was kind of just play around with it again I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing for the actual um, the settings themselves I wanted something unique within the, the Minecraft rate range but I didn't really like how Minecraft had the ranges set up it was kind of messy uh, with like point form and everything like that so I was thinking you know just kind of like situating it around like 0 0.2 on a 2.0 ratio thing this would make it a little bit easier to manage and know where the biomes and stuff were so um yeah just some general things uh right now i'm trying to play around with the continentalness uh to see if i can't get the the biomes to overlap and stuff like that so this is basically what i'm doing so um giving that the range for the certain biome uh, for inland is a certain r ratio. I think uh, between 0 and 1.5 was roughly the beach line so somewhere in there you might find beaches and stuff and then I wanted to kind of go over that amount to kind of 
be found in. So right now I'm just cycling between the two biomes and adjusting it so it would be in a point where it would be kind of like overlapping a little bit. But eventually I got it, I just needed to do some math. So when I actually got into the world, um, there was I had to kill a witch and I wanted to take a look at what the icon actually looked like. There, It is a little bit dark around the hat part, so we'll probably outline that in white. But when I got to the biome, I noticed that there were some issues with the pre-generation and stuff like that and way too much grass. So we'll be fixing that quickly. All right, so going back into the features, uh, I believe the features are down here. So what I had was a system where I was basically testing for that. I ended up dropping the repeat amount down to 64, uh, testing again, and then I played around with some of the settings as well. So I wanted to actually make it so the system was a little bit more uh, better. So I wanted to play around with uh, some, uh, some of the conditions and stuff. So uh, we can try to get it to work properly without needing a additional condition. But um, I ended up creating a condition for basically testing for a tag. So I can basically add other blocks to that group. And I just put it under the same namespace as the mod and gave it, I think it was like spawnable grass or grass spawnables or something like that. And then I tested for the block below for this to be the proper block. This should help with most of the generation. Uh, there might be some plants that generate in. And then I basically just made sure that the block at the current location is there. But that's basically what we're doing previously with the additional conditions. So I wanted to just basically do that for everything else. But I needed to create the tag first so we could actually get that part out of the way and I just needed a block tag for that and selected our grass and then we could basically generate the rest of the script. So I'm going to save that and then we can use it as a template for the rest of the procedures. So I only need to update a couple things. So I'm gonna import this, uh, get rid of that and then replace these with that. So it's basically set up in a way that I can actually get everything generated properly. So. We'll quickly switch these out. All right, so there was a few different things. Like I said, I did test it again between this point and that point, and the grass was still pretty high in density. So I wanted to drop the uh, the amount for the, the repeat value to about 64 because I'm using like three pieces of grass. So it was still too much for what we had. So 64 should be a good amount. And then I just wanted to make sure that uh, the block uh, can actually generate at the location. So I placed a couple of procedure or, uh, you know, parts down just to kind of make sure that it was set up in a way that we could actually make sure that it was generating. So I just placed those blocks in only if the block will basically support the block that it's going to be placed on. And that will be kind of an extra catch for the entire system. So once I did that, um, I just wanted to kind of go over the other properties. I'm not too familiar with the um, features yet. I'm still kind of learning the system, but given that, I mean, it's just released recently. So um, I'll eventually catch on what you can actually do with it and some of the possibilities and stuff. But grass being one of the things that you can actually generate as a feature, uh, normally there's a grass selection in the features for biomes so i figured it would probably be possible to do grass so i just wanted to kind of play around with it and that's what i did this weekend was um basically play around with the grass feature and to fix the generation settings i just basically made it generate or spawn the plants after everything else is generated so playing around with the settings i flew around a little bit i noticed that more inland from the ocean there's like an ocean around here there is more of a kind of uh, flower biomes, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the grass to be more on the coastline and then flowers to be more inland. So that was a good step. Uh, there's other s biomes that I want to add uh, for some more mountainy ranges uh, that are within these two ranges, but we'll be doing that probably next episode. We'll have to create some blocks and stuff like that for it to actually generate. But uh, overall, uh, the grass, the, the plant stuff uh, is not generating on the thing. That's because the blocks, the fertile soil is actually generating as ore. So that's why. And overall, I'm pretty happy with how the biomes actually turned out. There was some cases where I did come across 
some plants being placed on the fertile soil. Most likely they didn't quite generate in before the grass got a chance to, so, um, or the grass generated on them before the fertile soil could, but that's okay. Uh, the majority of it are generating properly. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.